Hi everybody, I'm Ray. Hey. Hey. Thanks for coming out. Who's up for summer fun? I love the sun. You love the sun. Cool. Yeah, Kukuo. Fun place, fun people, fun times. I love languages. So I I've been studying Mandarin and I've got a new word for you in Mandarin. Jio! Jio. Repeat after me. Jio! Jio! Yeah! All right. Jio means go for it. So I'm saying that to all of us and to myself because I'm nervous. Yeah. Yeah. 2019 is the year of the pig. We're in the summer of the pig in Chinese astrology. Summer fun! In Chinese culture, pigs are the symbol of wealth. But in Pune, the wild pigs are experiencing a lack of wealth. Unless you've been in a coma for the past year, you know that the lava covered so much of their grazing grounds, and the sulfur dioxide prevented, I hope that's the right word, I'm not really sure. Anyway, it prevented the fruit from setting on the trees, so the avocados, the strawberry guavas, their food. So they are hungry pigs. I'm involved in a farm project near Pahoa, and all the remaining farms in Puna, including us, are experiencing the year of the pig, big time. <laughs> they ate our 300 banana plants, clumps, roots, and all, gone, flat. Have you seen those pigs <laughs> running around? They are scary huge. Unless they're still cute babies, but Mama Sow is usually not far away, she will charge you if you get too close. She's fierce. Summer fun. <laughs> For the first time in 21 years of living in Hawaii, I get to hear the pigeon language for more than a few minutes. I've been hanging out with our new friend, a porgy, paniolo, bull rider, who's an excellent marksman, and pig hunter. He takes care of the pigs on our land, feeds them, deworms them first. Then he kills them, humanely. One shot, one pig. He never fails. I love listening to him talk. The other day we heard a shot. He drove up and told me, take a look in the truck. I'm like, ooh. He likes to shock me. Reluctantly, I looked in the bed of the truck. I saw my first up close Puna wild boar. And that is one big, scary, hairy beast. I could see that it was not alive. Innards were missing. But every time we jostled the truck, it looked like it was breathing and moving its foot. <laughs> so spooky. Summer fun. <laughs> Clearly, pigs were so revered that they were brought to these islands by the Polynesians, even before the invasion of Captain Cook. I tried to imagine boatloads of pigs traveling over here, but images from Lord of the Flies and Deliverance clouded my mind. So I looked up what the Hawaiians have to say about pigs. Summer fun. In Hawaiian mythology, Kamapua'a is a fertility superhuman associated with Lono, the god of agriculture. This hogman god had a tumultuous relationship with fire goddess Pele. Hmm. Kamapua'a's persistence overrides Pele's power, allowing him to turn her lava rock into fertile soil. Ooh. Got a chill. Yeah. <clears throat> Some stories say they were enemies, and other stories say they were husband and wife. Is there any difference? <laughs> First he pursued her, he pursued her, by transforming into a handsome man. But she's not having that. And she calls him a pig. They argue, 
insults firing back and forth, back and forth. Typical couple action. <laughs> Summer fun. He tries to get close, but she uses her flamethrower to leave him in a pit of fire. He strikes back by asking her sister, oh, that always goes well, <laughs> to put out the fire with fog and rain. I reckon they got a divorce. They must have been married. Because they split up the land, and Pele got to keep the districts that are overrun, overrun with lava. Hogs run all over his territory, where there's wind, rain, and food. Kind of like these days. Page three. Back to the story. Pele is afflicted with that condition of women who love too much. Chasing a guy who's running away from her efforts to fix him. She tries to get him back with a love chant. Meanwhile, he's too busy hanging out with his buddies, shape-shifting into the kukui tree, trickster stealing chickens, or turning into a pig so big that he can dam up a waterfall so his buddies can climb up on his pig body and then he releases the waterfall on his enemies and they drown. Right? Summer fun. Summer fun. Oh, yeah. You guys are getting it. Catch none. What a getaway. Anyway, Kama Pu'a'a transforms into the Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apu'a'a fish. <gasps> I said it right. To get away from Pele and lives in the ocean with a whole new family. Typical response of a guy who can't win the argument. <laughs> Takes off in a huff, never comes back. Some fun. <laughs> in Hawaiian culture, Kamapua'a is described as bold and untamed, thirsting after the good things in life. I lost my place. <laughs> oh, adventure, love, and sensual pleasure. This is pretty simple, similar to the Chinese culture. People born in the year of the pig are characterized to have a beautiful personality and are blessed with good fortune in life. So that's what this year is all about. And during the year of the pig, we all get those blessings. I wrote a song about the indulgences. It's to the tune of Mother's Little Helper by the Rolling Stones. In case my singing doesn't give that away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a blast getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> Eating ice cream every day. Should you exercise? No way. <laughs> Cooking fresh food for yourself is just a drag. <laughs> Melting chocolates in your mouth. Packing pounds from north to south. Pounds. You go running to the freezer for another frozen pizza. You've got loads of games to play. Watch your hero save the day. Bum, 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 bum. Doctor, please stop measuring cholesterol and high blood things. I don't care if my numbers don't fall. Bang, 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 bang. You go running to the freezer for another pint of Hagen dust. Netflix saves the day while you eat cookies by the tray. Bang, 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 bang. That's all for me. You guys are the best. I've had a blast. Enjoy.